Hi, so um, if you have a record player, you probably need a cartridge to be able to play that record. Uh, and at some point you're going to have to re uh, change that cartridge and search for a new one to replace it with. And one of the things uh, I thought would be useful for people to see or understand is when you buy a new cartridge, what is it that you should expect inside the packaging? What is it that you'll receive and what use are those items for you in setting up your new cartridge on your record player? So what I'm going to go through now is quickly just unbox one of these uh, cartridges. I've got a, a, a range here of moving magnet and moving, moving coil cartridges of varying um, uh, complexity and expense. Probably the most expensive one is uh, the Audio-Technica AT33 PTG, which is a moving coil cartridge. And so I'll open the packaging and let you know what's inside. Firstly, the packaging itself um, comes in a rather attractive, uh, what I'd call almost a, a jewellery case. Um, it'll have the description of the actual contents of course on the outside it's made by audio technica um, a very good name in in hi-fi circles uh, they always produce you know pretty decent good quality uh, reasonably priced um, audio equipment and accessories so inside the box what you'll find is the actual case for the cartridge itself uh, the cartridge is securely fixed inside the case, um, inside this Perspex case here, which I'll open in a second. And underneath the case is a whole series of papers. You'll find most of those papers, because Audio Technica, the production is in Japan, most of those papers will be in the Japanese language. Uh, some items you'll find in audio circles are export items so you'll get a lot more multiple languages in the documentation this I think was probably originally a Japanese market sold item and so most of the items or most of the accessories are in the Japanese language which is fine as long as they for us UK consumers at least produce something which we can interpret and if you flick through the pages, thankfully, yep, there's a whole set of instructions there in English. Now, uh, you can go through at length if you're interested in the specification and the construction and the shape of the diamond stylus at the end, etc, etc. But probably the most useful element in all of this is going to be for your setup information is going to be uh, these two sections here in the instructions now they'll be pretty similar regardless of what cartridge you're purchasing all cartridges should come with if it's the original packaging the uh, written specifications for the cartridge which will include all of the electrical information the tracking information weights etc and it should come with a diagram with a good explanation of each of the um, prongs which sit at the back of the cartridge, four prongs usually, and each one of those prongs uh, relates to a particular electrical contact which will need to be made with the tone arm cable which is uh, attached to your um, uh, your record player so when you're inserting or attaching the cartridge to your tone arm there'll be a series of electrical contacts four in all all color coded and what you have to do here is just line up the cartridge based on the coding of the prongs at the back of the cartridge with that tone arm cable so extremely important. They are not, I have to repeat, they are not the same with every single cartridge. So it's important you check the instructions and follow the instructions on your particular cartridge. Also, I'd, I'd draw your attention to two um, important pieces of information 
on your specifications. The first is the tracking force. Tracking force will become important when you're setting up the tone arm and you're trying to understand how much weight the tone arm should apply onto the vinyl itself using your cartridge. Uh, your cartridge is set up for a particular tracking force so that when it falls onto the vinyl that that stylus hits the vinyl with a particular weight and that is the optimum weight the factory and the, and the researchers have established will provide you the best sound for that given cartridge. Uh, also I'd uh, point out here the uh, coil impedance value. Coil impedance will become important not so much on moving magnet if you're using a moving magnet um, phono stage but on moving coil certainly because moving coil phono stages um, they can be variable or adjustable and if you want the absolute best sensitivity and the best match between your phono stage and the signal output from your cartridge you will need to understand what the impedance levels are so that you can make the adjustments on your phono stage and get the best signal quality that you can reproduce through your amplifier. Okay, so uh, that's the contents of your typical uh, instructions and specifications. Now the cartridge itself, uh, if you open the case, you have to be very careful with cartridges. Um, you'll learn, hopefully not from too bad an experience, but everybody who owns vinyl at some stage will do this. The stylus, which sits underneath this guard, which I'm just going to remove for a second, or maybe not, I don't want to take the risk just yet. Um, if you take a look, you'll see the needle, or the arm, the stylus arm, and then at the end, very end of that stylus arm is the needle. Now, a lot of vinyl owners will tell you at some point they'll either give the uh, stylus a knock or they'll bend the stylus or they'll damage it in some way, including potentially knocking the diamond tip off the end of the stylus. All of those things will, of course, damage the uh, signal properties of the cartridge in fact in some cases render it useless and that can be quite painful considering some of these cartridges well this particular cartridge is probably around 300 pounds mark um, I, uh, but I know uh, audio lovers can pay a thousand two thousand upwards for cartridges so care of those extremely fragile uh, stylus arms and the needle at the end is obviously uh, a very important element of caring for your vinyl setup. Okay so that's the actual uh, cartridge itself. Depending on uh, the manufacturer, depending on the uh, type of cartridge you're buying, you're going to find that the packaging will pretty much reflect the price that you're you're paying and also how much care and attention each of the manufacturers is giving for that um, uh, uh, manufacturer of, of cartridge. Now um, if I push this out it should release yeah it does so it should release the cartridge um, from the packaging itself. You can see here that the audio technology, what they've done is they've created a nice transport arm so that when you're carrying it backwards and forwards um, you've got not only the guard but the arm, um, this transport arm so that you can um, move maneuver it around safely without um, hopefully damaging the stylus. Uh, there's not a lot more to be said about the actual cartridge and the packaging uh, from most manufacturers uh, other than, as I say, make sure that you handle the cartridge safely, uh, keep all of the protective guards on until the very last moment of your installation and also make sure that you've got all of the instructions and specifications because those will be very useful when you're setting up and you're adjusting your phono stage. Thing which I'd forgotten, which is on this particular 
packaging if you remove this Audio Technica cover inside Audio Technica have provided some very useful additions. Now what you'll see here is a set of very fragile looking um, lengths of wire. These are actually uh, cartridge connector clips and there are four of them and each one is color coded and can be used to connect your new cartridge on one end and the um, cartridge or the phono cable to your tone arm on the other end. So that's very useful. Thank you Audio Technica. Uh, the other thing in the package worth pointing out is Audio Technica are also very good, um, as are Shure actually, in providing a screwdriver this will um, help you to screw in the cartridge into the tone arm itself. There's usually two bolts or screws which um, you'll be able to fix the cartridge using. And the other thing which they've provided is the bolts themselves. You can see the nut and the bolts. And they usually go vertically into the cartridge, down into the tone arm, and then you secure them in place. And the final thing that they provided is a small brush there. That brush is used to very gently just brush away any dust uh, from your setup. And if you're brave enough, then if there's any dust or, or any kind of fibers attached uh, at any point to your stylus arm, then you can use that brush just to very gently brush away those that debris from your cartridge. Okay. Thank you.